Hello and welcome. It's Treasure Chest Tuesday and this is us moving into summertime. And summertime means the treasure chest of family, often for many of us, right? Time for family to get together or not. But we think of family at this time and I love summer. I just got back from a fun and really uplifting family reunion. So I want to talk about family from a higher perception, how we can embrace family, no matter if we see it as a curse or a blessing, as a wonderful part of our life or something we just wish we didn't have to deal with, right? So I grew up in a family that was very considered very emotionally distant. What does that mean? We were not very emotionally engaged, okay? So, and that was a uh, part of the times, right? It was in the, uh, I was born in 1951. It was post-war, just, you know, nobody was into emotional literacy at all. <laughs> so, um, because of that distance, when I went to college and then I was in the spiritual community for a while, my own personal cousins and family and um, uh, even siblings were not the, the closest thing for me because I had my spiritual community and they were my family. So it didn't, it, it slowed down that whole process of keeping the family going and getting together with family all the time, etc. And some of my cousins, I didn't really even, I wasn't even able to keep track of, which, you know, is a little sad, but it's what it was. And then I had, my mother died when I was 30, my father died when I was 50, and my three siblings died uh, 12, 11, and um, eight years ago. So, orphan, orphan feeling definitely was in there. Lack of family was definitely in there. And even when they were, the siblings were around, our cohesive family dynamic was not all that commanding, we'll say. So I learned how to create family beyond the biological family for myself. And I found essences of family wherever I went and have done. Now, here's where you come in. And then, well, let me just finish the story. So then I have, we've started this family reunion um, based on, yes, uh, two um, children coming into it, my great nieces coming into the equation and we wanted to get together. And this has been our third family reunion, which is fabulous. And it was really wonderful. I'm, you know, the matriarch and they're all the younger ones. So, <laughs> um, but it, I, it, I love every minute of it. And I'm so grateful that I get to experience this dynamic of physical, biological family having a great time together. But in the meantime, I have done a lot around what is family. So I want to share that with you because family, like everything, is essences. Family is essences, right? When we say we wish for family, what is it we wish for? Peace, harmony, love, support, cooperation, communion, coordination, having fun together with others. All of these qualities are part of what we love about and want about with family, yes? So I would love it if you would take a few minutes in yourself or con contemplate in the next while all the elements and essences the qualities of spirit that family mean to you. What would that give you to have that rich, deep bond of connection that family carries for you? And how can you embody that inside and experience that on the outside with everybody, right? Or those you're in contact with. So you feel that you're part of the family of humanity. We could use that right now, couldn't we? 
the family of humanity, the family of mankind, that sense of peace and harmony with everybody everywhere, it starts with us. And if you have some gnarly family members like I have had, definitely, what do you do about that? I want you to go to the depth of the heart connection you do have with that person, that that is all that matters that you can actually say, I can love that person even if I don't like that person. You're really not liking their personality. You don't have to like all their personality. You don't have to like every part of my personality. You don't have to love every flower arrangement that I put next to me, but you love what flowers bring to you. You love what listening to this video gives you new ways of perceiving your life, wisdom for your life, a new way to look at love and support in your life. So let's go back to those essences and elements of family, okay? Harmony. Where do you have harmony in your life? Maybe it's just with a pet or with nature. Where do you have harmony? in your life. Be grateful for the family vibration that you are knowing because of that. Be grateful for the communion you have with those in your life, even if you aren't having it with your physical family. Hold those pieces in your heart, the love and the support the feeling of family connection you have. Maybe it's with your book group. Maybe it's with your community of sailors like I have. Who knows, right? Maybe it's with your yoga class. You all love doing yoga together. You may not be personally connected to everyone in the class, but there you are, the family of yoginis, <laughs> right? You have family everywhere. When you're in nature, when I'm by the ocean, I feel harmony and peace and love with the ocean. It is part of my family, my heart family, what feeds my heart. Because that's what family is, something that feeds your heart, that you want to feed your heart, that will always be there, correct? And if it's something that's always there, think of what is always there for you, that you can be with so that you can have the summer of fun with the essences of family. And as it relates to your family, the people that are in your biological family that maybe you need to go see, be with, find the essences of where you connect heart to heart. Maybe just a tiny little tadpole of something. Feel that connection. Know that is the jewel, the gem, of what you share with that person. And the rest may be, you know, crazy making. It may be just like, I can't even believe I'm with that person and we are connected by blood. Doesn't matter. You get to experience that essence with that person. And isn't that great medicine for everyone you're with? Because nobody you're with is going to be this spitting image of you, darn it. So you get to love them no matter where they are. Consider them part of your family for that day, whether you work with them, play with them, do Zoom calls with them. They are part of your family of creation, family of support for your beautiful life coming forward. So lots to contemplate around this upping, upgrading what we consider family and how we can make the most of being in family, knowing harmony, being in peace, right where we are to bring that into the world. So I honor you for listening, being with me in this and applying the wisdom that I'm bringing forward. Because of all of you, we're magnifying this together, you're bringing it into the world. So thank you so much for the contribution you're making just because you exist. And we are in this blessing of family together. So grateful for you. 
and I look forward to being with you again soon. Have a fabulous, fun couple of weeks till we connect again. Much love and blessings to the family of mankind that you are and to the family that you create daily in loving and supporting all that is a part of your great world. So much love to you.